They only read more than others. It is your extra impute that makes the ordinary extraordinary. Even women of value are not found everywhere. So the man who comes after her to marry her places high. When he sees some kind of people propose to you, don't get angry. You have no place value. Instead of you to listen to people who have something over you, I don't have time, I don't have time, I don't have time. I'm always in a hurry. You have been doing your job the same way for 15 years. He said, I have 25 years experience. No, you have one year experience repeated 25 times. Surely, you've received testimonies by reason of the online morning devotion. Here's how to share them with the rest of the world. Make a 30 to 45 second video of yourself sharing your testimonies in landscape format. State your name and location. Briefly state your testimony. Send your video to omd at smhrs.org or WhatsApp at plus 234-904-919-3971. God bless you. My name is Majesty Shadrach and I've come to give God all the glory for divine intervention and academic excellence. About a month ago, I ran into some issues in school that could have left to my rustification from the university. But I followed Papa's teaching on locating the right scriptures, and I did. And to the glory of God, God intervened, and what could have led to my rustification placed me in leadership positions. And secondly, I've come to return all the glory for academic success. Uh, I noticed my CGPA rose from a 3 point to a 4 point, and God Don't has been faithful in my academics. The words they speak, the attitude will affect your mind. First class students don't have a different brain. Don't the hang around. Mediocres will affect you. The words. They Hallelujah. You're welcome to the online morning devotion in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible speaking in Mark chapter 7, verse 37, and we are beyond measure astonished, saying he has done all things well. You consciously appreciate God for doing all things well. You are the online morning devotion. Raise your voice, appreciate God. Everlasting Father, King of glory, Lord, we say thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We exalt your majesty, Lord. We say thank you for doing all things well. We are the online money devotion. Lord, we say thank you for meeting everyone participating at the point of their need. Lord, we say thank you. Be thou exalted forever in Jesus' mighty name. I appreciate God once again. Your majesty, we proclaim that your name is exalted, for you reign magnificent, you rule victorious, your power. Is shown throughout the earth, and we exclaim that you are mighty. Lift up your name, for you are holy. Sing it again, all honor and glory, in adoration we bow before your throne, and we exclaim, and we exclaim. That you are mighty, lift up your name, for you are holy, sing it again, all honor and glory, in adoration. 
we bow before your throne. Let us sing unto the Lord a joyful song. And praise His name, for the Lord is good, everybody. Sing unto the Lord, a joyful song. Praise His name, for the Lord is good. Let us sing unto the Lord, a joyful song. And praise His name, for the Lord is good. Sing unto the Lord, a joyful song. And praise His name, for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. And praise His name, for the Lord is good. Sing unto the Lord a joyful song. And praise His name, for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord. And praise His name, for the Lord is good. We will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. We will praise His name, for the Lord is good. Let us sing unto the Lord a joyful song. And praise His name, for the Lord is good. We will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. the Lord a joyful song and praise his name for the Lord is good we will sing unto the Lord a joyful song we will praise his name for the Lord is good praising the Lord always praising the Lord always praising the Lord with all our heart praising the Jesus, most wonderful name. 
may be able to sit in God's presence. Kindly do well to remind or invite others by sharing the link of this online money devotion on your social media handles. The streams are always available for those in different time zones. Subscribe and follow us on all our social media handles. If you have not, always like and comment on our streams and God will also advance all that concerns in the precious name of Jesus. Listen to the following testimonies and expect yours in the precious name of Jesus. Testimony from Peter, Lagos, Nigeria. I have joined the online money devotion for almost a year now and I can see through that God is amazing. Due to financial limitations, I was unable to attend classes at the university. And as a medical student, class attendance is very important. An examination was scheduled with a 75% attendance required, and I had only 40% on my record. I was genuinely confused, and I decided to exercise faith. During the online morning devotion, when we declared the day open in prayer, I said, from today, everything will work out for me this week. Later that night... Our HO, the head, which is head of the department, sent a message that the attendance will no longer be a metric for eligibility to write the exam. I really thank God for his intervention. Testimony from Miriam, Nigeria. I've been believing God for sales in my work as a realtor, and I continue to pray for favor during the online month devotion. On the last day of glory in 2024, I pledged to sow an amount in my heart and I asked God to help me make sales in order to redeem the sacrifice. That night I stumbled upon an old conversation with a client from November 2023 and revived it. Eventually we scheduled a site inspection the following day and to my amazement he made an outright payment the following Monday and I was dumbfounded at how quickly God answered my prayers. I quickly redeemed my sacrifice, paid my tithe, and sold to God's servant, and it has been from one favor to another since then. I give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Testimony from Rotimi, Omotugo, Lagos State, Nigeria. I thank God for healing me of the pain I used to feel in my left knee each time I stand for up to three hours as an usher in the church. On Saturday, 9th of March, 2024, God's servant declared that someone with arthritis was healed and I claimed it. The following Sunday at the church, I stood for more than three hours and I felt no pain. I tried to stand longer for longer hours another day and I felt no pain as well. Also, the last month, God's servant declared that we would be congratulated and that very day I received an email from a recruiter for a job I had prayed for during the online money devotion in February. I have now resumed work at the company. Thank you, Jesus. Testimony from Wisdom, Nigeria. I have a relative in the United States of America whom God has been using to help me for a while now, but she suddenly blocked me in July 2023 due to a rumor she heard. I had been praying about it to no avail until I started attending Salvation Ministries Church and tuning to the online money devotion. I included this request in my expectations form, and on February 15, 2024, she unblocked me and favored me financially. I returned all the glory to God. God is indeed faithful, is a doer. Shall we please stand to our feet and give him all the glory? In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We'll be taking the online morning devotion prayers in Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 8 the Lord sent a word into Jacob and enlightened upon Israel you appreciate God for his word from the online morning devotion that has triggered great testimonies and the grace upon of God in all areas of your life lift your voice and magnify him Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord we thank you we appreciate you we give you all the glory we give you all the honor we give you all adoration that is known to compare to you mighty God Thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing in this online morning devotion that has triggered the Lord great testimonies and grace of God in all areas of our lives. Father, we magnify your name. We give you all the glory. We give you all adoration. Be thou exalted, mighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. In Psalm 2, verse 1 and verse 9. Why did the hidden range that the people imagine in vain thing? Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, and thou shalt dash them into pieces like the potter's vessel. You pray that all agents of the devil that dares to attack the body of Christ in all nations of the earth shall face the wrath of God. Raise your voice and pray that in the name of Jesus Christ. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray that all agents of the devil that dares to attack the body of Christ in all nations of the earth be faced with the wrath of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for surely they shall gather but not by me. But whosoever shall gang up against the Lord, all that concerns the body of Christ, we command them, O Lord, to be destroyed. You say you shall dash them to pieces like the potter's vessel. Every human agent that wants to stand against the nations of the earth, we come against them by the blood of Jesus. Any force that wants to stand against the movement of the body of Christ in all nations of the earth, we rise up against you. We command your world be destroyed. The blood of Jesus Christ is against your was in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare absolute peace with the blood of Christ in all nations of the earth. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, Zechariah nine and verse eight. I were encamped round about my house because of the army, because of he that passed by, and because of he that returned. And no oppressor shall pass through them anymore. For now I have seen with my own eyes. By the blood of Jesus Christ, destroy every plan of the devil against you and your loved ones today. Decree that there shall be no evil report as you go about your activities. Raise your voice and pray that in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we command that by the blood of Jesus, we destroy every plan of the devil against your Lord, our loved ones, our families, and all who is connected to us genuinely. Every plan of your Satan don't want to rise up against us. We come against you by the blood of Jesus. We command your world be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we go about our day to day activities, Satan, you're not permitted to rise against us. We decree that everything that concerns us shall be of good report. Evil shall be far from us. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Zechariah 9, verse 11. As for thee also by the blood of the covenant, I have set for the prisoners out of the pit wherein is no water. You pray to lose any of your loved ones, Satan has trapped to destroy through any means by the blood of Jesus Christ. Raise your voice and pray that in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray to lose every of our loved ones. Satan has trapped down by any force of hell, whether immorality or fornication, whatever it may be. We command them to be loose by the blood of Jesus Christ. He said, whosoever the soul of man has set free, is free indeed. Therefore today, your liberty is set in. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command them to be loose by the blood of Jesus Christ. He said, our soul has escaped out of the snare of the faller. Today, we command our soul be escaped. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Exodus 3 and verse 21. He said, I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when ye shall go, ye shall not go empty. You pray that you will always enjoy the favor of God wherever you go and in whatever you do. Jobs, contracts, visa, document, approval, works, residential permits, admission to institutions. Rest of us, I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he said, O Lord, with favor will I encompass us like a shield. Lord, we pray, O God of heaven, that we shall enjoy all our favor in all that concerns us in the name of Jesus. Using everyone hooking up to this online money devotion as a point of contact, jobs, contracts, visa, document approval, walls, and residential permits, admissions, O Lord. Favor we answer to us on a daily basis in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. It is time for personal prayers. In James chapter 5 and verse 16b, the Amplified Classics, he said, The earnest heart, heartfelt, continuous prayers of the righteous man make a tremendous power available, dynamic in his working. You ask God what you want. Pray that in the name of Jesus Christ.
in jesus mighty name we'll be declaring the day open hallelujah in job chapter 38 and verse 12 as thou commanded the morning since the day and caused the day spring to, to to know his place you command this day to be open in the name of jesus christ and boldly declare your desires and testimonies raise your voice command the day open in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ we command this day be open in the name of jesus for peace for the body of christ for increase dominion on every side in the name of jesus christ with decree our testimonies are born this day in the name of jesus christ all our godly inheritance oh lord we shall receive this day all that is hooking up to this online money devotion our testimony is born this day in the name of jesus christ finally we'll be engaging the blood of jesus christ in zachariah 9 verse 15 the a part of it the lord of hosts shall defend thee command the blood you will release the blood of jesus christ as your weapon of all round defense as you and your loved ones step out this day plead the blood in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ blood of jesus blood of jesus blood of jesus peace as we go out this day in jesus mighty name give thanks to god is worthy Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, we give you glory and praise, we bless your name, we exalt you in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Please be seated in God's presence. Praise God. Those of you at home, I know you're already sitting. I want to appreciate God for the privilege to be the one to share with us in God's word this morning. I want to appreciate my father, my mentor, my teacher, my life coach for this opportunity. Papa, thank you, sir. I want to appreciate mama, everyone that will hear God's word today. I believe God's word will bless your life in Jesus' precious name. This morning we'll be looking at enjoying the help of God. Enjoying the help of God. Enjoying the help of God in Psalm 121 verse 1 and verse 2. The Bible says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. He said, My help cometh from the Lord which made the heaven and the earth. Hear this truth. It is God's help that makes great in life. It is God's help that makes great in life. If you want to encounter greatness on earth, then you must depend on the help of God. And I believe God's help will answer to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Because man's help can fail, and man's help can be limited. Man's help can fail, and man's help can be limited. One time Papa was teaching, and he said, if a man lifts a man, is where the man's hand stops. That's where the person's lifting will stop. But when God lifts a man, there's no end to that lifting. Because where a man's connection stops is where the person is trying to help uh, lifting will stop. But I believe our lifting will know no bound in Jesus' name. The truth is that to continue in the race of life, to continue in the race of life, you need the help of God. In Acts chapter 26, verse 22, the Bible says, Having therefore obtained the help of God, I continue unto this day, witnessing both to small and great, saying none other things than those things which the prophets and Moses did say, should come one of the reasons some believers are frustrated is that after god has helped them in their hearts they begin to shift to themselves after god has helped them in their heart they begin to shift they begin to depend on self but as you depend on god today god's help will continue in your life in jesus name i remember several years ago something happened to me and i learned a lesson from it before i started walking or i was privileged to walk in the church, I was getting some favor. And from my tight records, the favor was amounting to 50-something thousand, 60-something thousand then. And then after I started working in church, um, my salary was about 20,000. And in the natural, the 20,000 could handle the things I wanted to do. And I see had change, praise God. And somehow, unconsciously, my heart, my heart shifted from God to the income I was getting and then I noticed favor stopped. And I began to ask God, well, how come the favor has stopped? Now that I'm doing more for you and your kingdom, why is it that I'm not enjoying favor the way I'm supposed to be enjoying favor? And he reminded me that my heart has shifted from him to my income. I pray our heart will not shift in Jesus' name. So sometimes when God helps the believers, your heart begins to shift from, you, from God to you. I pray that will not be our own portion in Jesus' name. Praise God. 
So quickly we'll look at how to assess the help of God. How to assess God's help. Number one is through prayer. How to assess the help of God. Number one is through prayers. In the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, the Bible says that we may come boldly. It says, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Prayer is simply asking for divine intervention from God on the basis of his word and your relationship with him. Praise God. Jabez prayed. If you read First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10, Jabez needed help from God. Jabez prayed and God intervened and turned his story around. As we have prayed this morning, God will also turn your story around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Step two, be conscious of the person of the Holy Spirit. Be conscious of the person of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our ordained helper and is the one with us now. The Holy Spirit is our ordained helper, is the one with us now. In the book of John chapter 14, verse 16 and verse 26, the Bible says, And I will pray the Father, he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. He said, But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So all the help you need is inside you. All the help you need is inside you. Instead of running from place to place, running from person to person, look inward and depend on the Holy Spirit that is inside you. And I believe help for that situation will come to you speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, this same Holy Spirit was the one that helped Jesus to succeed in ministry. So success in your assignment is guaranteed if you will only listen and follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I believe as we listen and follow his leading, help will be continuous in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remember in verse 16, the Bible in verse 16 of John chapter 14, he said that he will abide with you for Ever. So the Holy Spirit is with us forever. He's not with us for a few moments. He's supposed to help us continuously as long as we are on earth. And I believe we'll enjoy his help in the mighty name of Jesus. So the Holy Spirit can help us in various forms. Sometimes you can hear a still small voice. You can, sometimes it will come as if you are thinking like a thought. Sometimes it will refer you to materials or refer you to persons. Or persons can be referred to you in order for you to assess help. I believe he will help us today in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to rise to your feet and focus one area where you want God to help you. And consciously this morning, ask him to intervene in that situation. Whether it's your finance, whether it's your health, whether it's your career, in your business, in your family. Ask the Holy Spirit for help today. And I believe he will help every one of us this morning in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. Ask him for help in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, we ask for your help to answer in the mighty name of Jesus. You are ordained helper. We depend on you, Holy Spirit of God. We ask for your leading. We ask for your direction. Help us in every aspect of our lives. In our academics, in our mighty mother's size, we ask for your help. In that subject that we don't understand, Holy Spirit of God, help us. Give us understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Show us the right way to go. In the mighty name of Jesus, concerning our health, we ask Spirit of God for your help in the mighty name of Jesus. Reveal yourself strong to us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, intervene in every aspect of our lives, our children, our families. We ask for your help. Holy Spirit, help us. Help us. Help us today in the mighty name of Jesus. We depend totally on you. We ask for your help. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' precious name, I stand at the grace back in the commission of Father Dibime. I decree divine help will answer to you in the mighty name of Jesus. You have asked the help of the Holy Spirit under the grace back in the commission of Father Dibime. I decree help will answer to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Help will answer to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And your story will change today in Jesus' precious name. But before you can be conscious of the person of the Holy Spirit, the truth is that you must first of all have the Holy Spirit. I want you to pray this prayer with me because not until you are born again, the Bible says that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. So until you are born again, you cannot have access to the person of the Holy Spirit. I want you to pray this prayer with me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you 
as my Lord and personal Savior, I believe in my heart that you died for me and you rose again. I am born again. I'm a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me in Jesus' precious name. God bless you. If you pray that prayer, please follow the instruction on the screen. We would like to reach out to you, and I believe God will continue to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remember, today we have service today at 5 p.m. is living a victorious life. You can go, go physically to any of our branches, or you can hook up on any social media platform. Be part of today's service. You will never be defeated in life in Jesus' precious name. Remember to invite someone to be part of the online money devotion and your blessings will never cease in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's say the grace in fellowship, but the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and his mercy is following us all the days of our lives and we are dwelling in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. God bless you.